this time I will be drafting or plotting the neck dart. Okay, I will be tracing the outline of the neckline until the corner of the neckline and the shoulder line. Now I'm tracing the shoulder line until the corner of the shoulder line and the armhole curve. Now I'm tracing the armhole curve until the corner of the armhole curve and the side seam. And here at the bottom, I will be tracing the corner of the one-fourth of the waistline and the corner of the waistline level and I will trace the original waistline level and the adjusted waistline level for stomach easing. Now, I will be tracing or marking the intersection of the tip of the bust and the distance of the bust. This is one half of the distance of the bust. I will mark this intersection with a point. Okay, again, I also have to mark this first dark line and then I'll mark this. I will connect this point to this point and this point to this point. Now I will connect the neckline markings this way and the shoulder line this way and the armhole curve I will connect the markings this way I will draft the neck dart I'll get it from this point and connect it to the tip of the bust point okay now I will fold the bottom dart line and align it to the upper dart line then I will pin this together this way and now I can connect the side seam line from the corner of the armhole to the side seam and the corner of the side seam to the waistline and here I can first square the original waistline then I will connect using my curve ruler this way I'll connect the adjusted waistline on the center front to the one fourth measurement of the waistline. Now I can actually cut this portion. I'll cut the neckline curve. Then I'll cut this line, the neck dart line. Okay, because I have to adjust the, the end of the dark point I have to raise it up I'll just get a piece of paper here and tape it here okay I'll pin this first so that uh, the paper will not move I'll be pinning the on the piece of paper so that it will not move so I will tape this so that the pattern paper will be steady and will not move I'll also tape the other side For the tip of the dark point, I will raise this close to one inch. I don't measure anymore. You can just put it, the tip of the dark point, wherever you want. But it shouldn't be too high. This now is the pattern for the neckline dark. Okay? I will fold this dark line and from the tip of the dark point, I will align it to the other dark. Okay? I will pin this together so that I can cut the neckline curve again okay now I'm cutting the final neckline curve this can be you can just trace this part so that it will be even now I'm cutting the whole outline of the front bodies with the neck dart Cutting the armhole curve. So this is the final pattern for the front bodies with the neck dart. 